Hey guys, Cruel Blind Wave. I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. And we are back with Demon Slayer, where last time, last week, what happened? Tanjiro used Lullaby on Nezuko. Yep. It was super effective. After, you know, <laughs> after a while, but yes. <laughs> and uh, there's a brother. There is a brother. Indeed. And Scary he has one. blood sights. Gyutaro. Yes. Yep. Quite creepy. Uh, very effectively creepy. Got very sickles. anti-Flash. But now the flashiness has arrived. Uh, and uh, we're going to deal with it. Muscle! Muscle! <laughs> I love how earnestly he says that line. Yeah. I'll wash over them. Flashily. <laughs> Thank goodness we're watching the after credits. <sighs> that was good. Mm -hmm. Alright. The battle continues. And it still looks so good. Like, they don't... I don't feel like I ever see any times where they're like... Let's save a little money here for next episode. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, you know, it's one of the bigger animes. So, yeah, they're able to throw some money at it. But it looks so good. I love... I love the uh, visual language of his his swords that are connected to each other with the chain. And yep, it's real good. It just looks great, man. It's like Thor whipping around his his uh, hammer. Yeah. yeah, I love that he's like the sword extended. Oh no, he's holding on to the end of it just with the grip. <laughs> yeah, just just like <laughs> yeah. three fingers. No, it makes sense that he can get ranged with that. But damn, so cool. Yeah. I have a hard time opening like the ketchup bottle thing with my fingers. Huh? You ever take like the, the the thing that's like you take off the the you get a new oh, ketchup bottle. Yeah. You like take off the cap bottle. and then you have that one like little flap of plastic that you're supposed to just grab and it comes and off. Peel. And for some reason, every time I do it, I just can't get a good grip. It just slides off. I have to get like a knife and God, yeah. cut a little thing out. You just do this. Bam. <sighs> no, just just do it how it's supposed to be done. I'm saying, I'm sure he can this do it. He can do it flashily. Like. If you grab a hold of, like, one end where it slopes down, like, if you grab it, like, right there and then just roll your fingers up, it should I know, just... but it never works. It should. It never works. I've had the little plastic pad rip off. Yeah. And, like, the, the white cardboard is still, like, stuck to it or whatever. That, so. I hate that as well. Yeah, I don't want to make, make this about a constant in my life, but... A constant? <laughs> yeah, I don't have this grip. Eric, <laughs> next time you have problem getting a ketchup bottle open or mustard mm. either, either one mm. call me i'll come over i'll open it for you nope nope you and i emasculate me <laughs> <laughs> uh, i loosened it for you <laughs> no man i i uh <laughs> i love zanetsu but having zanetsu asleep it takes away like everything about his character it does, but yeah. it's the best part of his character. It, it is definitely is when he was it's the I mean, most redeeming part of him. It, it's a sleepy, not him, but he is like apologize to that girl that that you uh, that, that you pulled her ear. You pulled her ear. Like that's a Zenesu line, sure, but done in a Zen way. Zen. That's <laughs> yeah, true. It's very true. And he's just. Saying these things while having a snot bubble. Yep. Standing ah, out. I hate that. Wow and makeup. But it shows his so breathing, much. you know? Yeah. Like, we see him. It's a constant breathing. And yeah, <laughs> wow and makeup. She's, wow like, talking breathing. to him, and he's it's snoring. So, yeah, it's so great. <laughs> yeah, he makes the snoring sounds. <laughs> I'm here with my sidekick. All right, so the rules are that, yes, we can cut their heads off to kill them, but you have to do it the exact same time. Yeah. Which, which is, is going to be... Tri definitely tricky. Ironically, they have the thing that would be helpful, which is be able to see what's happening in the other fight at the exact same time. Sure. Yeah, that would definitely help be able to do it. But like, they it's have it. it's playing like split screen any kind of game yeah. where if one player dies, the other player just hides until you respawn. Yeah, it's going to be the same thing next episode. One of them is going to get their head chopped off, and they're going to go into defense mode. Yeah, you can send this half on a suicidal mission. That maybe it succeeds, maybe it doesn't. Yeah. But as long as this side is safe, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You're still behind a checkpoint. It works. Yep. You can just win through attrition. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually. As long as you don't both die and then restart the instance, right? Yep. Yeah, I thought it was a matter of just, like, he's, like, the powerhouse, and she's kind of siphoning off, and it would be more of an ice climber situation where, like, the stock doesn't count until you kill this guy, mm -hmm. you know? But that's not the case. That's good that there's a team of them. 
Yes, it definitely is. Yeah. That Finally, yes. Help. And uh, our best hope is poisoned. That sucks. Yeah. Though yeah. he says he's on top of his game when he has a little poison. Yeah, he does but... does say he's immune. They I just really... wonder if, like, if there's a certain amount... Even if you're, like, immune to poison. Yeah. Like, any kind of poison. Most like, poisons. is there... Most poison. Is there a certain amount of that poison that... Just immunity doesn't count anymore. Oh, yeah, imagine. it's alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> alcohol yeah. is poison to us. Yeah. No, yeah. But we can handle a certain point of it. But once we get too much, dead. Yeah. But there are people who can exist with like a point two blood alcohol content all day, <laughs> all day long, and they're perfectly normal. <laughs> yeah, seeming. Like, how much more would you have to drink? To get to that lethal point, to where it's actually because of like the alcohol overdose or whatever, and not like your liver giving out or something like that. Like, I mean, is there is there a certain amount of this poison that sure he's immune to it, he's built up a tolerance to it, whatever? But there's just there's so much that he can't take. I would imagine so. I like, think butterfly Hashira is the real like OP Hashira. It seems like. Because she's the poison expert. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It seems like poison is a very bad thing. It seems like the most powerful demon art that we've seen so far. I mean, that drum was pretty cool, too. I did like the drum. The drum was fun. (laughs) But I don't think that the drum demon would have given Uh, any Hashira uh, pause whatsoever. No, yeah, I know. (laughs) What's the name of the demon slayer master? Do you guys remember? I um, said it here. And it was super long. I, I did never, not write it down. I remember his name. So yeah, uh, his scarring is not spread across his face like we see it in the present. Here, it's like it's smaller, so it's it's like growing out from there, right? Yeah. I remember the first time we saw him, we're like, have we seen this guy in a day? Yeah. Is, is this the demon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like he's always keeping his face hidden from the sunlight. He's always in shade. Yeah. But yeah it doesn't no. seem like it's much. Maybe he's poison. I mean, Just very slowly. Yeah. It, it, or maybe it's um, you guys haven't played Sekiro, but in that, every time you die, and come back, this thing called Dragon Rot affects everyone around you. Mm. So maybe every time a Hashira dies, it gets a little worse. Hmm. There have been a lot that have died, just from these yeah. two alone. Just from those two alone, there's been, what? Fifteen plus seven. Twenty-two. 22 Hashira. And granted, it's over centuries. But 22. Like, eventually yeah. you get to the point where, like, well, maybe I'm not going to be the one. <laughs> and I imagine, like, demons have probably gotten stronger since the beginning. Mm-hmm. So Hashira, the level of Hashira now are probably higher than previous level of Hashira. Yeah, in yeah. order to keep up. There's, There's got to be some, like some upper limit to how powerful a Hashira can get in their lifetime to where they will never be able to achieve the strength needed to kill an upper rank demon. But they right? get the knowledge that they can pass on at the very least. Sure. So like it's like the education system now. It's like we know so much more now. You have to learn so much more than we did before to get to like an equivalent education level. Sure. To get caught up before you can start discovering new knowledge. Yeah, It's like, it's got to be so insurmountable at this point. Well, and they said, I wasn't sure who they were talking about, but they said like, oh, I'm not special. There's a Hashira who just picked up the sword and within three months was a Hashira. Yeah, it was uh, the one that cries. It was the the little, the dark haired. No, I I recognize that Hashira on the right, the guy with the the beads. He was the one that was crying. Yeah. Yeah, but I thought he was talking about the guy on the left. Who isn't he the one that was going to kill ne- he's, uh, yeah. Nezuko? He's like the snake one or something like that. I, I don't think remember. that's the I same also, one. That, maybe it's not. I, 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 I don't, don't think it's Gil. That's not the water breather? I don't believe so. Okay. It's been forever think, since we've seen him. I think been. that Hashira <laughs> looks like we know them now. Like, in that one episode where. where um, he like met all of them, and plus, 
they're not wearing the the robe thing, the multicolor robe. That's true. He's not wearing that, or she. Two months. Two months. Yeah, it wasn't mm-hmm. even three months. Pick up uh, so he resented the idea that like you were born with talent. You just you didn't have to. He just these fell into this. Oh, what? Come on. Yeah. You should have seen me when I wasn't flashy. <laughs> right? That's what he's saying. He's trained as a shinobi, yeah. a ninja, and then he's gone against everything. You know, rather than not be seen like a ninja, he wants to be seen flashy. And just the the visual language that they chose to tell, like, yeah, I had eight other siblings. There was nine of us, and, yeah, like, was seven terrible. of my brothers and sisters were cut down. And just... Yep. The it's knives like, cutting through the kunai, flying through them and yeah. stuff, and just getting chopped apart. So they don't hold back on visuals. The visual no. of, uh, oh man, what's her name? Daki, uh, talking about like the people, the the, the men that like, use women here in the entertainment district, like the way they were like pawing bars, bars and, and, yeah, like looking in on the, the homes and stuff. These more demonic looking than the demons in this show. Yeah, but it was just uh-huh. really gross and scary and creepy. Yeah, definitely. Like, like the butterfly on fire and stuff. Yeah. yeah, you just get used up and thrown away. Yeah, like I can I can see how people would be just as bad as demons in that respect. Of, sure. Of like you know your only use here is to be of use to me, and once you're yeah. not useful, no one wants you. It's why in the beginning of this arc, I was like, I'm having a good time, but I feel like there's this undercurrent of like, I don't know if I should have such a great. <laughs> a great entertaining time in a place like this, you yeah. know. Sure, you're yeah. just seeing the public face in front of it, but yeah. in order for that to happen, you know there has to be some sinister yeah. things underneath. Yeah. So the wives are helping evacuate the, the district, except yeah. for uh, which one is this? Is Ma- Makio, or is this Hinasuru? Um I believe uh, Suma and Makio are helping evacuate okay. and. Hinatsuru is up she on was... the roof with the, with the um, starts with an H. Huacha. Huacha. Yeah, the Huacha. We just talked about that in Walking Dead not too long Indeed. ago. Um, but yeah, she's like having like a hard time, like just like walking down the alley, and, and she's carrying <laughs> this fucking she's carrying thing. that, and we didn't even see it. Yeah, where'd she even Gosh. keep it? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Flashy, because she's on a stealth mission. Yeah. I Muscle. don't figure she would have stored that with her stuff. Maybe. Maybe that, uh, that could be her like entire trunk. She should have had the rats carry. Muscle, muscle. They could have done it. They could have. What are they doing right now? They're also being flashy, way, probably <laughs> flexing. Yeah, they're just hurting them because like people <laughs> are going to be afraid of these giant rats. They're not giant. I mean, <laughs> they were small enough to crawl through little holes and carry swords over their heads. <laughs> these very buff rats. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they helped get it up there. I don't know. Uh, okay, but it's covered in the wisteria, like, flower oil. Wisteria whatever. extract. Yeah, but and able to make it so they can't regenerate immediately. I'm, I'm assuming it's something very permanent, but... Yeah. No, it wears off pretty yeah. quickly. And the more powerful the demon, yeah. like, the more it takes to, like, slow them down. And, uh... But they should just... They should just mush up wisteria in their scabbards. And every time, it's just like a paintbrush. Sure. Just more. All the time. Wisteria is so good. Why? It is good. Maybe. It's a limited resource. Maybe. Did you see those trees? <laughs> There's a forest! You know, like, wisteria! Wisteria extract bear spray. <laughs> Just, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, I man. love how Sound Hashira just tanks the kunai. He does. As well. Yeah. Just yeah. Like, I well, mean, wisteria could only make him more powerful, right? Maybe that. Yeah, maybe, but the kunai like, in his face still him. probably hurt. They can't eat him now. Maybe it helps him out with the poison inside of his body already. Maybe, too. maybe oh, because no. it's a blood demon poison, yeah. the wisteria can like stop it. Maybe, and he can get some help. But I mean, you know, they're talking about being able to fight in sync. Like these brother and sister fight way more in sync, obviously. But uh, that yeah. was pretty in sync. He was able to just—he knew it was happening. He knew that he was going to tank some and got in there and took off his legs. Still yeah. can't stand and look at the guy's waist. I don't like his waist. <laughs> like, I used to be this tall in like 115 pounds. Yeah. And I could suck my belly in to where you could oh, see, see, like, my spine. 
I just and keep it thinking was of like almost as bad as that. I just keep thinking he can like put his hands in his pockets of his own waist, and it just freaks me out. Yeah. <laughs> you can like yeah, he takes a shower. He yeah. has to like lean sideways yeah. to pour the water and out. Like, he, like, <laughs> it's fun. Thank you for watching this reaction to Demon Slayer. And if hip pockets creep you out the same way that it creeped, creeped Eric out, make sure you subscribe right now so you get to watch next week's episode. And check out patreon.com slash blindwave where we have all of our other catch-up shows and stuff, early access, four weeks ahead. So you can see all of those right now.